Behavioral problems in horses can be frustrating for owners. Sometimes these problems are a result of horses dealing with a stressful situation, maybe more than one, such as maybe adjusting to a new environment, maybe traveling, maybe training pressures. Previously, there were few options available to you horse owners. Tonight, we'll continue a conversation we began a couple of months ago with Zilkeen Equine. It's a new tool to help you manage problem behavior, help your horses cope with challenging situations. Good evening and welcome to this edition of Rural America Live. Our friends from Zilkeen back with us. I'm Mark Offel. Appreciate you joining us during this hour. We're going to be opening our phone lines for you to join the conversation. Lots of horse lovers, horse owners we know on our uh, RFD TV audience and on Rural Radio, Sirius XM 147. We'd like to welcome back to our program Dr. Eric Alsup and Dr. Jim Lowe from Vetakinol Animal Health. So good to see See you back in the studio again. Thank you, Mark. Good sure to be back. We had a great launch to the product here on our last program and looking forward to the hour here to answer questions. A lot more uh, of our horse owners have found out about Zilkeen. Before we get into that, let's get a little bit more of your backgrounds. A lot of new viewers and listeners sure. since you were here last too. Start sure. with you, Eric. A little bit about your oh, background. Quite a few years ago, Mark, I graduated <laughs> from veterinary school at Kansas State University and uh, practiced equine practice for several years before getting in the industry. But horses, even outside of practice, have always been very important to the family, horses and agriculture in general. Tina and I have raised five kids, always involved in 4-H. I myself was involved in FFA. So between showing cattle and showing horses and the, the animals we raise on the farm, miscellaneous group of ducks and goats, we just have always made agriculture part of our lives. How about that? Very good. And then, yeah, your work with uh, uh, Vetokinol and the company, uh, some of the things you're involved in now. Well, with Vetokinol, we're, we're very fortunate to be able to bring forward Zilkeen as a real solution for horses that just have trouble coping with stressful situations. Mm -hmm. In addition, we have a, a broad companion animal line, a few products for reproduction in cattle. Very good, good to have you here again. Thanks, Mark. Jim, good to have you here as well, Thank and uh, home for you originally, where? Um, I grew up in Texas, uh, mm -hmm. and I was trained at Texas A&M where I received my veterinary degree. I was in uh, private practice for 18 years. Um, part of that was in a large animal uh, mobile practice that I shared with my wife. Uh, we just actually celebrated 10 years of wow. wedded bliss. She's a veterinary technician and grew up raising saddlebred horses. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a seven-year-old daughter who takes riding lessons and has yet to meet an animal that she doesn't like. <laughs> so I've been with Vetikina approaching four years now and I'm a technical services veterinarian. So I'm in charge of providing technical training for our sales and, and other employees. Um, but I also act as a liaison between our company and veterinarians to get them to better appreciate and understand right. uh, our products. And home is Georgia now. Yes, sir. I live in Noonan, Georgia, just uh, south of Atlanta, because I spend quite a lot of time at that airport. Very, yeah, <laughs> yes, I bet you do, yeah. <laughs> I love college football. You were talking, I said, well, you didn't change colors, did you, from Texas A&M? No, so you're still no, an sir. Aggie. Always. Once an Aggie. All right, very good. Good to have you both here. Right. And we're going to have some special guests who are friends from uh, Vetokino have uh, asked to come on our program via telephone and share their personal stories about how they use Zilkeen equine in either their veterinarian operation or maybe a competitor, uh, which will be the case. And then we'll open our phone lines for you a bit later this hour and join the conversation. Let's start here again, Eric. A lot of new viewers and listeners, yeah. as we mentioned, talk about Vetokino, the company. I'd be happy to. Yeah, bad. <laughs> Vetokino has been around for over 80 years, one of the longest running, continuous serving uh, animal health companies in the world, and actually the fourth largest among those companies dedicated exclusively to animal health. In uh, our, our base is in France, so the, the home company is in France. Mm -hmm. In the U.S., we're located in Fort Worth, have a growing business in the U.S., just got into the equine side of it uh, a couple years ago with Zilkeen and some other products and growing now from that base throughout the United States in 23 companies in the world. So we get the advantage of having that global presence while still being able to focus very much on the U.S. business. And still family oriented, family owned and operated. Yeah, thanks for asking that. It's in fact the same family has owned it all those years. Started with the, I think the grand 
grandfather of the current CEO was a pharmacist who started making products for his father, wow. who was a veterinarian. And those products worked so well that uh, all the other veterinarians in France started getting interested. So they set up a business which then spread to the rest of Europe then spread to 23 other countries over time. Wow, how about that? Quite a history here. I know you're proud of that. And uh, Jim, you mentioned, uh, and which is the case a lot of times, our, our friends that come on RFD TV and Real America Live, whatever the product is, the employees are really involved in it. So it's a case here with uh, Vetakinol, and the employees are either horse lovers or horse owners. Oh, absolutely. We have quite a few of those, and I think we actually have have a few images perhaps going to be here. You brought some with you. Yeah, yes, these sir. are employees that, uh, yes, uh, from all different departments. Absolutely. Customer service, uh, the management team. Um, and I believe we also have uh, some of the sales force as well. So absolutely a company that's passionate about horses. Very good. And so they know from where they come, you know, when they're talking yes, to sir. the public about this, uh, yourself included. Uh, Eric, back to you in the last, our first show to launch the product here on, on RFD TV, you really ra raised awareness of the product Zill Cable. Let's go back and recover that ground again. What is it and how does it work? Yeah, I really love the story of how Zilkeen came to be. There's been a lot of research done on why babies of all mammalian species, humans on down, get a, a relaxing, a, an ability to cope with anxious situations when they nurse. Mm -hmm. So people, a, a number of researchers over decades have looked into that and trying to figure out whether it was just the pheromones, they were tested, able to eliminate that as the primary cause, whether it was just the postprandial, the after meal relaxation, we're able to eliminate those. So they're able to zero it in to the milk itself. And as they broke down various, various aspects of that milk, various subsets of the milk, and worked through the process, staying natural the whole time is very important to them to stay natural. They knew nature had this coping mechanism in place mm -hmm. and they wanted to mimic nature, not create an artificial substitute. So as they went through digesting those various components, they, uh, they were focused in on casein, digested it with pepsin, which is how you and I digest things in our stomachs and, and didn't get the result they were looking for. Great disappointment on that. and. Uh, Somebody in the room fortunately uh, remembered that newborns don't digest with pepsin, they digest with trypsin. So they went back, again staying with a very natural process, digested it the way a newborn digests it, ended up with the active ingredient in zilkine, which now gives uh, mam mammals, especially dogs, cats, horses, even an adult, the ability to garner the benefits of that same coping mechanism that a, that a newborn foal gets when it goes to nurse on its mother. Hmm, very good, and uh, not a drug. I mean, that's something I wanted, I have some notes here to make sure we under, that the viewers and listeners understand this is not a drug that you need a prescription for. It's a great point. It's not a drug. It's a very natural compound. Again, comes from milk mimicking nature in every way. And although it's uh, sold, people purchase it through their veterinarians, it's not a prescription product. So how, would they, how do they actually use it? People will say, okay, it sounds great, Eric, but how, how, do, how do you administer it? Well, you can see uh, Zilkeen is, comes in these packets. They're powder packets, contain some apple flavoring. Oh. And it's, uh, we haven't had much, if any, difficulty with palatability. That apple flavoring seems to help it. People just open the packet, sprinkle the powder on the feed ration, and have the results from the, the horse. So we've, we've actually had very good palatability, very good receptivity of it from the horses. Mm -hmm. So kind of to summarize, when you talk, and we're gonna focus on the equine industry here tonight, obviously. Yep. You mentioned other species here, but uh, it helps them cope with a change in their environment, whatever it might be, a new arena, a, a traveling, uh, whatever, you know, something, uh, uh, whatever the case might be, a storm. I think you summed it up just by saying whatever it might be. The key with Zilkeen is we're dealing, we're helping them cope with anxiety. So whatever we feel like is, is stimulating an anxious response, Zilkeen just helps them with the coping mechanism, helps them get back to normal. One of the greatest quotes we hear from people is, I got my horse back. Yeah.
Oh, how about you? I never get tired of hearing that, I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, that's you know. right. Uh, well, we have several folks that have joined us, uh, that folks from Zilkeen have invited to be on the program, as well as you folks that are, we will be uh, calling in with your questions and comments later. But we have our first guest on the line tonight sharing okay. her experience in this case. This is uh, Dr. Caitlin Daly. She is with Midcoast Equine in Waldboro, Maine, coming to our program tonight. Doctor, thank you for joining us. Us. Well, thank you very much for having me. Talk about this. Get uh, talk a little bit about uh, Mid Coast and uh, what your equine practice is all about up there. Well, I'm a solo practitioner, so I work just with myself up here in the Mid Coast area in Maine, and it's quite beautiful. Um, we see horses right uh, on the coast by the ocean up into the mountains and sometimes I even get lucky enough to ride a ferry and go see the horses on the island out here. How about too. that? Very good. Now you have a video that uh, you supplied to us uh, that is going to, we kind of, I'm going to call this kind of a before and after. One horse that you use as an example. Set us up for us what we're going to see here. Talk about the, the behavior of this horse before Zilkeen. Sure. So the horse in this video, his name is Bailey, and he's about a 14-year-old Appaloosa. He's quite large, about 1,200 pounds. Um, he has been in my practice for a little over a year, so I had experience vaccinating him without Zilkeen, and he is a horse that's pretty unsafe, actually, to even just take his temperature because he'll want to swing his butt to you and try and kick out. And in order to safely administer vaccines, so safe for me and safe for him, I would have to use the use of a lip chain, which is not something that I routinely do and not something I really want to do if I don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, so when this product came about this year, I discussed it with the owner and wanted to try it, and um, it was quite successful. And now, just for, again, our listeners and viewers to understand, you treated, uh, is it Bailey? Am I, is that right? Yeah, it's Bailey. So we gave him, after talking to my rep, uh, we decided it would be best to give him two packets a day because of his large size. So we started two days before my appointment. Um, he got two packets each day and then the morning of my appointment. Mm -hmm. well. And now we're watching the video and what we're seeing is the after. Is, is that correct here? The, a very, to me, it looks like a very calm animal. Yeah, so actually when I walked into the barn that day, he pinned his ears at me. So I was a little not sure if it was going to work, but I gave it some time, finished up the other horses and came in and we were prepared with cookies and peppermints and really tried to make <laughs> it a positive experience for him. So you can see in the video, um, just starting by just petting him and pinching his neck and then trying to run the needle cap down him and allow him to process that. You can see he's not perfect. He shakes his head and he stomps a little bit, but then he kind of relaxes into it. It's like, okay, this isn't so bad. They gave me five peppermints. Life's pretty good. <laughs> yeah. And then, you know, we reach out and, you know, my handler is ready and I go ahead and safely administer a vaccine with really minimal fuss on his part. Yeah. Very good. Uh, and we have uh, Dr. Jim, Dr. Eric here from uh, uh, Vetakinol. And I'm not sure you have a question or a comment for a doctor or not to add. Oh, I, I was just curious, and thank you for calling, Dr. Daly. Have you had mm -hmm. uh, any other experiences, or certainly if you were making some recommendations to uh, other horses that may be suffering from some of these issues and to those horse owners, what, what is kind of your guidelines to share with them? So definitely like after that video was posted, it became quite popular. So people mm. were coming forward and asking about concerns in their horses. So I've used it again for other needle shy horses for vaccines. Um, one recent one that was interesting was a horse that sustained a laceration to her hawk. Um, luckily it did not involve the joint, but she's on stall rest um, while she heals. And she's a bit of a nervous pony to put it at best. Just everything is an issue for her. And so we just decided instead of allowing her to get too ramped up on stall rest, that we would just try Zilkeen um, on her. And mm -hmm. I go in the next, you know, a couple days later to give her her next dose of antibiotics. And the trainer said to me, she's like, she is a completely different horse. Mm. She's Very so good. Much better. So I told the owner, I said, you know, while, while she's on this and while she's on stall rest, go ahead and start introducing new things to her. 
um, so that maybe we can help her mm. become less nervous when eventually she's off of this. So now, is this before we, we're going to have just a couple more questions that I have, mm -hmm. again, not being a veterinarian, as Eric and Jim are here, uh, is this something that every time you're going to, you know, that will, will Bailey eventually work through this uh, whatever you want to call it, as you're giving her a vaccination, or is this something you're going to have to do? I say have to do, but you have this opportunity with this great product to use each time that you're going to give them a major vaccination to this horse. I'd like to hope, I really have hope that we can, um, I, would, I want to continue to use it in the future. I think it's important for him because we've got one really good memory in you know, yeah. for Bailey, and we need more. Um, and so hopefully his response every time is less and less, and he becomes very comfortable, and, you know, eventually we stop using it. This is a horse that you've got plenty of owners that say my horse is different around me. Um, for the first time, I saw him with his owner, and he is a completely different horse. I got my horse back. Yeah. She's very calm, and so hopefully he can get to that point where he's that way with me, too. I want you to speak to other veterinarians, Our last, my last point to you. Uh, speak to other veterinarians tuning in tonight. They're hearing about this product for the first time, I guess, professional to professional, uh, and, and your words to them that they're working with horses that they've had some be behavioral issues with. Sure. I think that um, many of us can be very skeptical about supplements, and I am one as well. I wanted to give it a shot, and I found that I had a really good response to it. And It's not just one time. I've had several horses respond very well to it. So if you've got a horse that, you know, is a bit much and you're worried about your safety, but you know deep down inside that horse is not a bad horse, I think that it's something to try because it will make your experience with that horse uh, easier and your owner as well. And we, you know, a happy horse is a happy owner is a happy veterinarian and everything just works well. I just want to emphasize two things. One from uh, that we got out of uh, Dr. Daly's video and from her comments today too. The first is you saw all the things she was doing to make that a happy experience. So the horse had zilkine, but she was feed cookies, peppermints, very gentle in the process. Zilkine isn't a silver bullet. It's zilkine plus the kind of handling that Dr. Mm. Daly's doing. The second point that she touched on that I think I, I also thank you for, Dr. Daly, is the, the ability for horses to learn while they're on Zilkine. So we would share exactly what she's hoping for, that you give horses who have an anxiety, you allow them to have some good experiences in that same, under that same anxiety causing stimulus. Mm -hmm. And over time, they can learn with the help of Zilkine and proper handling of Dr. Daly that that's not it. That that situation is not going to kill me. That yeah. we can get on from that and get off Zilkeen and move on to another horse who needs it. Very good, Dr. Daly. We're going to let you go. With thanks for your time tonight. And if you have any extra cookies left over, you're not going to use. <laughs> uh, just send them here to Nashville. <laughs> All right, I'll do that. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you, you for your time. Thank you. Dr. Caitlin Daly joining us from the great state of Maine tonight. We are going to take our first short break here and opening our phone lines right now for you to call in, ask questions, learn more about this product. Maybe a horse you have that you've wondered, is there a product that can help me? Tonight there is. 877-731-6733. Lines open right now for you. 877-731-6733. More with Zilkeen when we continue Rural America Live after this. And welcome back to Real America Live. Our friends from Zilkeen uh, joining us here tonight. And our expert panel, including Dr. Eric Alsop and Dr. Jim Lowe, uh, once again, coming back for more. They were here on our first show to launch this product and tell you all about it and came back and we're certainly glad they did. Telephone lines are open for you to ask questions, learn more about this product. Again, if you didn't get that number before our break, 877-731-6733. We look forward to hearing from you. Jim, how long has the product been on the market, first of all? Uh, equine Zilkeen's been available just about over a year year now. About um, a year? Yes, sir. 
Yes, and sir. and uh, is there any other product people may be familiar with or not that would be uh, similar to available? Uh, not really, because of its uh, unique milk-derived ingredient, it is rather unique, and you couple that with the scientific uh, research that's behind the product. Again, some con confirmating confirmation in the fact that they learn under this product was done at the University of Pennsylvania. Horses that are more focused, that have a more level-headed disposition, are able to retain information better and are going to respond much better. Mm -hmm. Certainly, the safety profile on it makes it makes it very unique, um, as well as the multiple applications of it. And before we take another caller here, the one that you invited to here today, uh, maybe just for people that are joining the program here in process here and wondering, well, how would I use this product? What circumstance would it be? Uh, and there's a whole long list, but just maybe naming a few things like the, a traveling sure. or uh, sure. a, in a new arena, whatever it might be. I think some of the very common ones are trailer anxiety, certainly separation anxiety. Uh, many horses that have trouble dealing with smaller stalls. Uh, one exciting avenue we're looking at is even in the weaning process. Wow. Certainly we know that foals and weanlings experience much a lot of pressure as does the mare during that process mm -hmm. and that's a, that's another opportunity for us. Certainly longer term again because of that learning quality uh, breeding protocols or convalescent periods uh, much like Dr. Daly just mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, and also noises, fireworks, thunderstorms, Vaccinations, uh, obviously, there can be traumatic for a horse. Yes, sir. Can be another another uh, opportunity to use the product. Another. Uh uh, caller that we are going to be introducing now. Our second uh, caller inviting us, uh, we have invited in is Cassidy Victor, uh, a youth world champion NBHA Ooh. competitor. And Jim, uh, she is very familiar to your family and uh, let you kind of welcome Cassidy to our program tonight. Hello, Cassidy, and, and welcome. Um, yes, indeed, Cassidy actually is our riding instructor for our daughter, so uh, I'm good. well acquainted with her. And Cassidy, I know you and I have visited quite a bit, and I really just wanted you to share your experiences uh, with Zilking, um, not only in your training practices, but I know you've had some success, even with some trailer anxiety. Right, and I have an eight-year-old tank that I started on barrels maybe six months ago, and hmm. he started out just having all the issues a typical barrel, a barrel horse is gonna have, um, and then some. Not only did he have alley issues and he couldn't stay focused just going in. I mean, he would run into his barrels and he would see the crowd and instead of focusing on the barrels, just wanted to look at everything else. He had alley issues, separation anxiety, trailer anxiety. So we've been using it on him and it's helped so much just with his learning process with it all. I can teach him so much better and he's retain the information so much better as well as his performance has just been better just by him listening to me and not wanting to fight me the whole time. That's, that's great and have you uh, have you been able to share your experiences? Do you see some of your other colleagues approaching you and having questions? Right, right and a lot of people have asked me because they've seen they were like well I thought this horse didn't run barrels and I was like well it didn't and they were like this is doing awful and it's like well he's He's learning now, and they've wondered and asked me, you know, what, what has changed his whole mindset on all of this? Cassidy, this is Mark Oppold. Uh, thanks for joining us here tonight. You mentioned a couple of things, uh, well, uh, two or three things on our list that we just covered here as far as separation, travel, uh, and even noticing the crowd. Talk about maybe one or two of those things uh, that are different now that you're using Zilkeen. Right. So one of my main issues when we would run into the pattern is, especially at the rodeos that he's getting familiar with, is there's crowds and crowds of people and there's the bulls and all the other animals. Uh -huh. And he was not at all worried about running into a barrel pattern. He had no idea what he was running into. So with using this, I've noticed that as soon as he runs in, he's listening to me. He's waiting for me to ask him to go to that barrel and turn that barrel and he's ready to work for me. Mm -hmm. What would you say to other competitors? And this is a, obviously a performance horse, a little different maybe than a pleasure horse uh, that has anxieties around a farm or a ranch, but when you're talking about a performance horse uh, and a lot of folks are very protective, talk about those people that are watching tonight, uh, uh, Cassidy, that would maybe wonder, eh, I'm not sure about giving this to my horse. He or she is pretty special. Right. And I, 
I mean, my horses are so special to me, and I'm mm-hmm. very particular on what I use. But just everything I've heard about it and just the way it's worked, I've had absolutely no worries about it. And I love the way how you advertise. It's not something that you want to keep them on forever. It's to help them, and it, it really benefits the horse. Very good. I think we're going to let you go. And uh, now, do you have a competition coming up pretty soon? I do. I have a really, really big competition in Spy, which is the Youth World Championship. Uh huh. How do you feel about that going into it? I am so much more excited to go into it this year than last year. All right. So. Tell you what, let, give us a call when you get done. We want to get the, you know, get your results and let and share with everybody since they are now familiar with Cassidy Victor. They may see that name on TV. Excellent. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good luck and God bless. Thanks for calling tonight. Thank you, Cassidy. Thank you. Very good. Yeah. So she again for your family. Uh, she is the trainer. For your, uh... She actually provides riding lessons for our daughter. Uh, we actually keep our horse out at her family's place. So, yes, well acquainted Very with good. Cassidy and her success. Thanks for bringing her along. I'm yes, inviting her to call in tonight. And we invite you to join the conversation, too, callers, uh, listeners, and viewers, rather. And our lines are open. Uh, they may be they're ringing. Becky says it's a busy, busy call uh, phone line. But if you get busy signal, please keep trying. 877-731-6733. We're going to Oklahoma. Uh, first caller is Joni. Hi, Joni. I have a sister, Joni, so I like that name. <laughs> How are you? Just Thank fine. You. Thank you. Go ahead. Um, my daughter and I own um, Anja Equine, which is a rehab and fitness center in southern Oklahoma. And so we have an um, Aquatread, which is an underwater treadmill. Mm-hmm. And when we are training horses, um, a lot of horses are terrified because they have to go down a ramp into the water and then get accustomed to you being ahead, of, you know, above them. Yeah. And then you start the treadmill and it's a whole new experience on top of that. And um, we we don't use drugs. And so we found Zilkeen hmm. and we started trying that because what happens with horses in, in this situation is if they are truly terrified, they get what we call sticky feet and their feet are stuck in one place. And the next move is very unpredictable because they're going to react instead of respond. And so a lot of times they will try to rear up. They will try to jump, you know, all kinds of unpredictable behavior. So we tried the Zilkeen and we have been amazed, truly amazed at the horses responding. You can take a horse that's terrified and turn around in a few hours after a packet of Zilkeen and we bring them back in and they are looking at everything fully alert and they walk right in and they get to the bottom and they're, they're processing it all. And the second time through, we will start the treadmill and they'll figure out walking on the treadmill. But what was really amazing to us is that the next day, they have total recall. We bring them mm. in without the Zilkeen, and they go in as if they've gone in 10 times. It, I'm truly amazed, honestly. How about that? Well, you couldn't ask for a better testimonial, I don't believe, than uh, what we just heard. Oh, that, that's great, Joni, and I think what makes that such a great testimonial from you is that, again, as we said with a previous caller, you combine the right behavior, the right handling, with the use of Zilkeen. So you did everything to make it a positive experience and gain from the learning process that goes on. Compliments to you. Very good. Joni, thanks for that call. That means a line open for you. Wow, that's great. Uh, uh, a great example, too, uh, something you wouldn't, you, know, you wouldn't think about. Uh, of uh, going through a, a under you know a treadmill and, and the aqua therapy. Yeah, and, and in the past, before a product like Zilkeen came along, veterinarians might use something like acepromazine or a sedative. Zilkeen has no sedating effects. As she said, it's fully aware, looking at everything coming in, fully aware of what's going on. So it's not stumbling as it goes in. You can imagine in an aqua tread, having a horse stumble would be a fairly serious situation. Mm-hmm. So it's, it's great that it's worked so well for her. 
People are wondering, where do I get this product, Eric? You want to take that, Jim? Jim? Um, Zilkin is available through your veterinarian. Uh, they can purchase it through any of the major veterinary distributors out there. So uh, alert your veterinarian, and they can take care of it. Call that. your veterinarian. Yeah, it's that easy. But no, mo but no prescription is needed. It's, it's, uh, there's no, it's not a drug. Again, when people just joining us, that's important to keep hitting on that point. It, it absolutely is, but we also feel it's imperative that they consult their veterinarian who has a full appreciation of the health status of that horse um, and knows that animal and, and can better help them manage because again, it's not just the Zilkeen, it's proper management, it's proper incorporation of the product. Very good. Just to enforce that, if I may, a little sure, more. Sure, absolutely. Getting another person, especially a veterinarian involved, can be key because not every problem is an anxiety problem. If it's a behavior, a bullheadedness, uh, it, if it's something other than anxiety, veterinarians have other tools to use as well. Good point. And it's important to get the right diagnosis on it in order to use the right tool, don't you think, Jim? Yes, sir. Very good. And we have a third person that you've invited to call in tonight. So we've had a veterinarian, a competitor, a barrel racer, Cassidy, who is going to be a winner, I just know. <laughs> uh, Tim Cable joining us now, the uh, American Association of Professional Farriers. And he is at Blaisdell, New York. Uh, so welcome to our program tonight, Tim. Yep. Hello. Nice to meet you. You bet. Thank you for joining us tonight. Uh, as a farrier, you have a lot of situations where there might be a behavioral issue. Uh, talk about uh, how you discovered uh, Zilkeen and, and uh, perhaps how you were using it uh, in your profession. Uh, I discovered it from one of my large uh, clients that uh, was using it on their young horses. And we did a trial period of horses that I've never uh, shod before. Mm. And the horses that I'd never shod before, uh, that their first time being shod, uh, correcting that, you know, seeing a farrier, we wanted to have a good experience with them. So we did some with some with the Zilkeen and some without the Zilkeen. And the ones with the Zilkeen was amazing how much better they still reacted to n new things, but the reaction was so much more mild. And, uh, really finding uh, those horses on the Zilkeen, after stopping with the Zilkeen, their behaviors were so much uh, more like old horses after a period of time of, you know, not having a bad experience. And having a bad experience, first time putting shoes on a horse can translate the rest of their life. Yeah, I imagine so, yeah, and uh, Dr. Jim and Dr. Eric have talked about that, that the, the horse can learn, and uh, it learns that this is not going to be a traumatic experience, and they remember, if you will, to use that word, the next time you come back to reshot or uh, repair or whatever it might be, that horse is going to act a whole lot different. Oh, yeah, definitely, and what, what I found with some of the young horses after since I do uh, multidiscipline, I do dressage, jumpers, hunters, and mm. standard race horses from primarily. But with having gated horses, I found that after using it for a year, um, I'll ask many questions with my clients. Um, how's your horse acting on the track prior to me changing the shoes? And if I find that the horse is a young horse and he's having that I feel anxiety on the track, I question mm. them. I'll ask them to put the horse on Zilkeen for a week. And some of these horses, after they just calm down for a while, I don't need to change their shoes to change their gates. A lot of times it's just the anxiety and them getting a little excited. And all of a sudden it, it creates a, a me not chasing after shoes and changing shoes all the time. Dr. Uh, Eric Alsup is here on our program tonight. Uh, uh, Tim, I think he has a question for you as well. Go ahead. Yeah, Tim, right. when, you, when you did that first trial use of it, how were you using the product? A couple days before, or at, what was your protocol? My protocol, I started five days prior, and um, just to make sure that it was in the system enough, you know? And, yes. Um, and uh, I've, you know, I've gone to some horses that I've asked them, you know, horses that, may have had troubles on the racetrack, which I referred to a young horse, you know, going on the track and he had his experience maybe the first couple of days, but sometimes they get more anxious and more on the bit after, you know, being on the track for a month or two and all of a sudden their gates change. But I, sometimes those horses, they've seen a difference in two days just on the Zilkeen. That's excellent. Thank you very much for that, Tim. I think it's another great example of 
Tim, setting up the situation to complement the use of Zilkeen. So nobody that we've talked to tonight is trying to use it as a silver bullet to, to get away anyway. with bad things, but they're making their handling of the horse correspond to trying to create a good environment that sets up a good experience that can later result in not needing the Zilkeen at all. Very good. Tim, thanks for your call. If you're still there, thanks for joining our program yep. tonight. And by the way, real quick to other farriers that are out there. We asked this to a veterinarian and our first caller. Uh, maybe just as you end here, speaking to those other folks that are out there doing the same thing you are uh, in other environments and, and what words you would have for them on this product. Well, I have words that I have for them. This is another tool in their shoeing box yeah. because if especially dealing with young horses or horses that have anxiety, you know, seeing a farrier, some have had some bad experiences. I think it's a tool to help train. It's not a tool to train your horse, but it's a tool to help train. And especially with young horses that haven't been handled, um, the, the secret of making them better, they have to be handled. And once they're on it and the grooms do their job of picking the feet up or the trainers and, and prep them for the farriers, because usually the first experience with a farrier, they're seeing things that they've never seen before, forges, noises, drill presses, grinders, shoeing boxes that are moving around, and the Zilkeen has been a, a great help for that. Wow. Yeah, and something they may not see again or feel or hear again for some time. It's not like they're going to one show and the next show and the next show. You might not come back to that same horse for, you know, next year maybe. Yep. Very good. Tim, thanks for the time. I appreciate it. Yeah. We all appreciate your Thank time you. and your comments. Tim Cable from New York. Frank, for joining us. Thank All right. Uh, again, we want you to join the conversation. Telephone line still open, 877-731-6733. Uh, we have another uh, Tim. Uh, we're going to get latched up here and head to Michigan uh, and see if he is Tim ready to go. There we go. I think Tim's ready. Are you up? Are you... Right. Oh, Kim, I'm sorry, I said Tim. Kim from Michigan. She was probably waiting and said, well, I'm Kim, not Tim, so Mark's not talking to me. Oh, sorry about that. Go ahead. Go ahead. I, need, I need some whatever product they have for uh, hearing or something here. You know. Go ahead tonight. Well, thanks for taking my call, sure. Mark. I enjoy your program, and thank, thank you. you, doctors, for having this. Yeah. I, I ran up the barn because uh, I've been seeing this advertise coming up for the last week, and I'm very curious about it, and I love the calls that have been coming in. I've learned a lot. And uh, we plan on purchasing this ourselves. But here's my question. Um, once you use the product, and it's not a silver bullet, as you mentioned. Mm -hmm. uh, we work our horses a lot, train them. We do a lot of trail riding, my wife and I. But how do I know when to take them off the Zilkine and, and try to see if they, they, if they adapted to the learned behavior with it mm -hmm. when they calm down a little bit? Well, I think it depends on, on your horse, and certainly I know we've alluded to in the past the stress ladder and the, the levels of anxiety some of these horses may experience day to day, um, some more than others. I think to use this product for an extended period of time um, is certainly safe. So if you even used it for, say, two weeks or so, uh, trying to go on as many rides as possible um, and trying to steer that animal through as many challenges as you can and then took them <laughs> off the product that could simply be that may be enough the nice thing about this product is there's no tolerance to the product they don't become addicted to the product again it's a natural mm. ingredient so if you still begin to see some of those behaviors that are less than optimal you can then resume but i would certainly say a good two to three week course um, in these situations might be needed again depending on the normal level of anxiety in that animal very good. Thanks for the call from Michigan. Come up in the barn to watch the show tonight. Again, yeah. great, uh, great testimonial for the, you know, the folks that are interested in your product. And again, how would he get that product tomorrow morning? Um, simply ask your veterinarian. Contact your veterinarian and again through all the major distributors that they normally use um, are well aware of the product and can deliver. We have a box here. How much would he, uh, it's, of course, it depends on the horse and what the, mm -hmm. what the reason is, but how much would he need or want to, the veterinarian would probably help him sure. but order, but sure. uh, a box like that, uh, if you were going to use it, uh, how long would that last for one horse? Well, a, a single box contains 20 of the packets um, for your average 1,100 pound horse or lower. A packet a day is the recommended administration level, so that might be as much as 20 days worth. Again, there's quite a lot of variability in the horse and how we choose to use it. Many, because of the safety of the product, will double that administration level quite easily. So for some horses, that may only be 10 days. Mm -hmm. um, by the same token, we heard with the, the lady that practices the rehabilitation, one packet in many of these 
these horses was enough so one box could conceivably do multiple horses. Mm -hmm. It really is a case-by-case -case basis, uh, which is again why we try to involve the veterinarian as well. They can perhaps better uh, alert the owner to what might be proper. Okay. Pack it a day keeps the stress away. <laughs> no, might give you a marketing no, job. No, right? no charge for that. <laughs> All right, one more call before we take a break. We're going to go to Florida. Kathy's been holding on and wants to talk to you. Hi, Kathy. How are you? Hi, how are you? I'm That's doing well. Good. Go ahead. Um, we own Santa Fe Horse Company here in Florida and Jeff Gaffin Cutting Horses. Hmm. A lot of times we have horses come in where... An owner has bought too much horsepower, uh, and things steadily progress downhill. Or even with a barrel horse that maybe has gait issues, rearing up, turning around, flipping around, where they become dangerous. When we get these horses back, if they're repairable, it takes a long time. What I was wondering, and Tim earlier at the farrier had some good information, mm -hmm. These horses sometimes take months to repair, and they only fix if they have a good foundation. Mm -hmm. Is this something that you would use for, say, if you were training this horse for two months slow and trying to get things straight in his mind, is it something that you need to back out of slowly? Uh, and, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Um, it's... I think she's asked the question. I think yes. no, I think we understand. Sure. I mean, so you got a severe behavioral right. situation here. Right. So, uh, well, the one. uniqueness of the product, sure, you can certainly use it for an extended period of time. I think the length of time the horse is on the supplementation um, also goes along with the, the the level of anxiety this horse is under, the the practices you're able to implement. Uh, that being said, again, there's no tolerance to the product. Uh, you don't have to wean the animal off of Zilkeen, so you can literally stop it on day 20 or 21. You can assess where this horse is at. You'll be best able to appreciate where the horse has come from, knowing where it started. If you begin to see a significant amount of improvement, you may be ready to continue your training regimen without supplementation. Um, if you're still not quite happy or feel like the horse is still under a certain level of anxiety, then you could certainly resume with no worries at all, again, because of the wide safety margin of the product. Kathy, I want to hit a couple of points that you mentioned early on that I want to make sure for you and other viewers are clear. You talked about an owner buying too much horse. There are, there are things, when a horse has behavioral issues because they just decide they're the boss, they're the alpha in the relationship, that's not a good situation for Zilkeen. Keep in mind that Zilkeen is for horses who have anxiety, who are truly worried about something. So think of your situations and think about is this horse just been spoiled? Uh, considers him or herself the alpha in the relationship now? That's not going to be one that uh, Zilkeen as a tool is going to help you a lot with. It's much more designed, much more useful for the ones that have something creating anxiety when you truly soothe, see that worried expression in them. That it comes out every so often, not on, a, on an ongoing basis. I wouldn't say that so much, Mark, because we do have some, like Kathy's talking about, some of them come from, she's get, she gets horses, I'm sure, that come from a negative background that truly are afraid to be handled. Okay. They truly have anxiety. Tim talked about horses that get the wrong type of experience the first time they're shod, and they remember that. We've had those experiences with our own horses and with horses we've brought in. And those, those horses have an anxiety issue. They're worried about something, whether or not it's going to happen. If you can get the help of Zilkeen, a tool on, uh, on board, and then ensure that that situation turns out to be a very good experience, over a period of time, then, as other viewers have told us, you can get the horse off of Zilkeen. It helps them through the anxiety, helps them with their coping mechanism, and helps them realize that life ain't all that bad. Very good. All right, good points. And thanks for the call here. And with that, we're going to take our last break here. Telephone lines are open for you to call in, ask questions, join the conversation, 877-731-6733. More with Zill Keen and Rolla Mera, Mera Live returns after this. <laughs> 
Welcome back to Real America Live. I'm Mark Oppold, our friends from Zilkeen with us, and telephone lines are ringing off the hook, Becky tells me, but we want to still give you that phone number. There's time for you to join the conversation, 877-731-6733. That being said, a lot of folks are not going to get in tonight that want to talk to you. Uh, they can go to the website to learn a lot more about the product and maybe have some questions answered. Uh, maybe that would be a question for you, Jim, to go to the website. Absolutely. The website is uh, www betakinousa.com um, and certainly we also have a customer service department there that can field many of those questions um, certainly if it's something uh, that needs further addressing I can be contacted very readily and be more than happy to visit with you personally very good thank you that's good because there will be a lot of callers who won't get through tonight let's get a couple of these as many as we can in fact to Kansas we go to George been holding on hi George hi Mark how you doing yes fine glad, glad you could join us go ahead Thank you, and thank you all for your program, mm -hmm. and thank Pat for all he does. We love him, but uh, anyway, I train racehorses, and sometimes we uh, get a horse that just can't. We get their blood counts up and get them so high, and uh, before the race, of course, I'm on a farm, so I haul in about two hours out most of the time, and uh, a couple of questions, and I think maybe the failure answered it was that uh, with the standard bits, we want to make sure you know that we don't uh, give them something that wouldn't pass if we go mm -hmm. to the test barn, and also uh, just so it don't uh, bother the performance of a horse. Well, I, c I can certainly speak to the performance side of things. Again, uh, one of the attributes of the product is it is non-sedating. Um, we're not going to see any ataxia, weakness, dizziness, et cetera, that you might see with a drug. Um, that being said, we really want to focus on Zilkeen as a, as a training tool to be used in the training barn uh, to improve this horse's coping mechanism to perhaps alleviate some of that pre-performance anxiety. Um, and so, but again, as far as um, being reluctant to get on the back of a horse that has Zilkeen on board, um, there's absolutely not an issue there. I think that's one of the key differences, Jim, as opposed to using something that has a sedative effect, being confident that it's just helps focus. Uh, it's not, it has no sedative effect. And because it's a natural product derived uh, in a special way from milk casein, we don't have any regulatory body in equine sports in the U.S. that has any has expressed any reason to to test for Zilkeen. It's a very natural nutritional product. Mm -hmm. Very good, George. Thanks for the call and keep tuning in here. I appreciate your comments here on RFD TV and uh, love to bring programs like this to you. Hopefully, helpful to all uh, horse owners. We go from uh, Kansas to South Carolina. This is Pat. How are you tonight, Pat? Fine, number two. Good. Go ahead. What I got a barrel horse is very good, mm -hmm. but I'd like to know if the Zilkeen, if it would help keep her a little more concentrated on the barrels. She's usually perfect, but a lot of times, sometimes she'll make up her mind that she doesn't want to turn the first barrel. She'll want to run off from it. And I just wondered if a few days of this before the barrel races, if that would not maybe help her concentrate more on the barrels. We need to get Cassidy back on the phone, I think. And Cassidy yeah, could, Cassidy you know, could answer you know, that, yeah. Cer certainly, again, what the product is going to do is perhaps more focus your horse, uh, maintain a more normal demeanor, a normal demeanor needed for her to perform. I think it's going to. this would be a perfect case to try the product at home, in the training pen, um, in training in those barrels, and I think you'd better appreciate it because it may not be the barrels themselves, potentially. It could be pre-race anxiety. It could be the trailer ride to the event. It's going to take a while to really figure out exactly Exactly what it is that stimulates her um, to do what she's doing but certainly this is an opportunity where perhaps in leveling her demeanor and focusing her more it may be able to alleviate some of these problems very good thanks for the call and good luck to your uh, next race if you have one coming up soon Pat Pat from South Carolina. Jim, how, how quickly, and a lot of folks may, have, I guess we're getting calls of people kind of asking generally this question, sure. how quickly am I going to see results start using it tomorrow? Well, I think the callers tonight have been a perfect reflection of that. I mean, we, we know uh, Mr. Cable saying some of those horses that he had to start at least five days prior to him coming out to shoe them the first mm -hmm. time. Uh, we had the therapist showing that one day prior to them placing them in the aqua treads, there was some success. And it speaks to the individual variation in these horses, the level of anxiety they normally live with day to day. So in general, for routine 
uh, anxieties, we say at least two, two to three days prior. But again, we've seen tonight that that can be uh, um, just a guideline to go by and not necessarily a rule. It really is going to be up to you and your horse and, and how they normally respond and really maybe what the anxiety is we're looking to address. Very good. And that leaves a line open. Thanks for the call again, Pat. As she, uh, she leaves us, that leaves a line open for you. 877-731-6733. Still time for you to join the conversation. 877-731-6733. Again, folks joining us during the hour and, and uh, what from the very beginning, kind of talking about the product. They, they hear it and they all these testimonials will wonder, well, how does it really work? Let's go back and cover that, Eric. Yeah, so uh, the uh, I think the important point to remember is the natural approach that comes from Zilkeen. It's working to calm an adult horse the same way that nature calms a nursing foal. The wonder of it is to be able to get all that into a, into a small packet so an adult horse can get that same benefit. Mm -hmm. And it's an all natural and it comes from the, you mentioned the milk that a foal gets uh, from the very beginning, that calming, that milk that gives that foal a, the calming atmosphere that it needs and it's the same in this the makeup of this product it follows along that same line exactly right mark I mean it's it's um, that's that's the principle behind it the work that went into it the research brought it down to be processed in a certain way an isolated part of the milk processed with trypsin which is what neonatal foals used to pro use to digest and following nature's path mm. took uh, what is just it, you wouldn't get the same effect giving a horse milk but following nature's path brought us to nature's end point, which is really, that, which is really like the beauty of it. That's very much so. All right, to New York, Joe, we are continuing our conversations here with you, and you're up next. Welcome, Joe. Hi, how are you guys? Hey, thanks for calling. All right, I have a 17-year-old horse that's been a barrel horse its whole life, mm -hmm. and we just started teaching it to be a head horse. Mm-hmm. And uh, when you're back in the box, he gets real, you know, gets a little hot and gets a little anxiety going. Um, with that type, he's not a mean horse. He doesn't want to hurt you. Mm -hmm. But would that stuff kind of take the edge off him a little bit where he'll listen to me a little bit better? I, I think it's a perfect opportunity. Again, in a training pen, in a situation, you're placing him in an environment that's new to him, that's foreign to him. He's probably getting a little claustrophobic and feeling pressured. So again, what we're doing, no different than if you were walking him onto a trailer he was uncomfortable with, we're able to allow him to go into that situation, fully acknowledge that situation, and just be better equipped to cope with it. So again, with repetition, with training, um, with you working with them, I think this is a, there's a high likelihood this would be very successful with him. Joe, just reinforcing some of Dr. Lowe's points and the points from our previous callers. They use zilking in combination with the way they handled their horse. So his uh, emphasis was on using this at home in training. What we want for your horse is to get that positive experience in the box time and time again. So they, asso they associate the roping box with a positive experience instead of anxiety. Very good. Thanks for all the calls tonight. We wish you had more time, but we just have about two minutes left to give our guests final thoughts tonight. Uh, Jim, we're going to start with you. Thanks for being with us here tonight. Again, good to see you again. Jim Lowe, uh, your final thoughts. Oh, well, first off, I want to thank all the callers. They were great. Mm -hmm. I want to say hi to my family who's watching. Please. And, uh, and I really think we can really appreciate from the callers that um, recognizing the expectations with Zilkeen as well as its limitations, uh, we just have a product that in a very natural way uh, helps horses cope and learn. Very good. Well, we learned tonight. I have learned a lot, and I know our viewers and listeners as well. So it's good to have you here. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, Dr. Eric Alsop, you have the last word tonight. Thanks, Mark. And I, I prepared a great summary, but our call, our people calling in said it all for me, basically in the key points that the horses learn while they're on the product. So we aren't you looking at using it forever. It has no sedative effect, so the horses are very safe while they're learning. So people just get their horse back. They get their horse back. And how do they get the product? They get it through their veterinarian. And no prescription, but just working with the veterinarian. Like we, we know maybe didn't hit that as hard, but that veterinarian is a real key part of this whole situation. I think it's a very important point, Mark, that a veterinarian can really help somebody diagnose whether that's truly an anxiety issue or something else very and good. use the appropriate therapy. 
Thanks for being with us. Hope you come Thank back you. again. See us again we'll soon. Be back. Very good. Hope you will. Thank you for joining us tonight here again. Another edition of Rural America Live. Remember to visit their website, vitakinol.com, for more information. And again, we appreciate you joining us, and we say good night from Rural America's most important network.